Welcome to this uh, Windows in Computer channel. And uh, well, of course, uh, this is the virtual machine running uh, the Windows 11. So this is kind of interesting to, uh, to see this. Windows 11 was uh, something that's for a long time thought to be impossible. But in reality, it's not. This is really the uh, the official uh, new version of Windows 10, which is kind of nice. Um, so you know, it's 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 kind of cool, and uh, it's kind of fun to uh, to test out and check it out. And here we go. Let's switch this here. So what is this exactly? Uh, Windows 11 is the new operating system. It leaked today. I don't think it was, you know, sometimes when something leaks, we think, well, Microsoft purposely did it and uh, to give more hype, but we think that this isn't the case. So uh, it's kind of interesting to see all of this uh, new stuff and the way that it's um, really... Windows 10 X styled. In reality, what you see here is a Windows 10 operating system that has Windows 10 X user interface on top. Uh, it's pretty much that because the basics of the machine is Windows 10 X. Um, two things I want to take care of immediately. First of all, nobody ask for links or post links. I do not I will not give any links and I do not want anybody to post links to anything. Uh, this is a leak build and, you know, um, if you're adventurous, there are ways to find it, but don't count on me to share anything about that as this is not the place for that. The uh, other thing is I uh, was mentioning how on two of my older machines, um, one a Core i5, Intel Core i5 machine from about seven years ago, eight years ago, with eight gigs of RAM, uh, one terabyte hard drive. It has a, um, ra a Radeon uh, graphics adapter. Um, it said that I didn't have the minimum requirements. I'm not sure exactly what c was giving me that um, error. It could be simply uh, some setup that something that I didn't set up right. I will try it again, but I will change a few things, including a couple of things in the BIOS um, that might be just the reason why it didn't want to work. Um, because underlying uh, code here is Windows 10 pretty much, which tends to make me believe this should work on a majority of Windows 10 machines that exist right now. So don't, uh, let's not go crazy yet. The only thing that maybe could be um, a, a reason, but even that is not a reason as here, it's running with a basic, you know, in virtual machine with a basic graphics adapter. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting. Um, I, I don't know exactly what the minimum requirements. This store seems to be very close to what it looked like before. So I don't know if, uh, you know, there's are, are things that are not probably not finished yet. Um, of course, there's the uh, notifications area on the bottom right where you'll have some stuff, uh, including, of course, the ability to uh, see this is very Windows 10-ish. Uh, in the way that it is, I think a lot of people are going to be maybe disappointed to see what um, Microsoft has done here. Um, not that much of a big change, um, you know. I was expecting that when I did my first videos. One of the videos that I did was, yeah, maybe, maybe you know, there's so much hype that people are going to be disappointed when they see it. Um, yeah, it is possible, honestly. Um, of course, you know, new backgrounds, stuff like that, uh, all sorts of little things that are, are going to, to change over time. 
but its underlying code is Windows 10. They just made a slight difference in the way things are. That centered, some people were talking about, well, you know, this being centered here, it looks like a dock, like on the Mac computer. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Uh, the dock actually is more beautiful than this, So, but, you know, I'm at the basic drivers here, so it could be much improved on an official machine at some point. Um, it is interesting to see, um, that's for sure, and it gives us an advanced look at what's in there. Uh, some people are asking me questions like, you know, is there a control panel? I mentioned it in another uh, in another video, but uh, there is definitely a control panel still in here. So if you go and search for it, you'll see that control panel exists right here. It's it's still there, and you can view by category or by icons like the uh, the uh, regular. You know, it's obviously underlying code is obviously the same thing. It's really just the visuals that have changed here, because um, I, you know, there's nothing different in the background. And so, you know, Windows 10 software, Windows 10 hardware probably works on Windows 11 for the most part. Uh, also, it's not enough of a change for anything like that. I can see a lot of people not, maybe not going forward to this Windows 11, uh, at least for a while. So that's. Uh, that's a possibility. I've seen a lot of comments, and I think uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. And it's definitely a different style, a different look, a different feel. But uh, but the same thing. You know, it's the same thing underneath, uh, which is basically Windows 10. So um, we'll see over time. Uh, you know what what happens with this and how well it's going to be received when it actually is released. Um, there's a lot of talk about this not being released but this year, actually. So we'll see on the 24th what they are going to say. Uh, some are saying in the fall, but some are saying maybe not before early next year. Uh, we know that Windows 10 itself is going to get 21H2. This is still the thing. It's going to get an update uh, at this fall. So we're going to see um, how all this goes. That's for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and uh, hope that uh, you enjoy our videos here on the channel, and that uh, you enjoy the advanced look at Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe.